I have a very exciting announcement to make. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm kind of a renaissance man. I'll paint you a painting if you want to pay me to do it. I will take pictures of you with or without clothes on, probably with clothes on, preferably with clothes on, definitely with clothes on. But I mean, if you were naked, I guess I, I could take pictures. I, I'll take pictures in general. Um, I will make a movie for you. I will marry you. I'm officially a minister. Can you believe it? I am now a religious leader. I registered, I got ordained as a minister. So now I can officiate weddings. So maybe I'd wear this thing. I don't even know how to put it on. I thought I knew how to put it on. Wow, that's a great way to start off. Oh, I'll take pictures of you naked, or I'll be your minister at your wedding. Wow, that was a really bad job. The thing is that naked pictures are better, but it doesn't mean you're full naked. It just means that like, sometimes it's better that a picture is naked, but it really depends on the picture. Like, but if you really want art pictures, you need to be naked or partially naked, naked, not full naked, unless you need to be full naked. It depends on the situation. All right, so I don't want to take naked pictures so that brings me to Andrew Cuomo. He is accused of sexual assault. And I think the problem is that when you're the boss and you're like constantly hitting on someone or when you're at work and you're constantly hitting on someone, then um, you cross the line. And um, like work is one of those places where you don't want to get hit on all the time, especially if you're like a woman or something like that. And I, I got sexually harassed at work once. <laughs> I got fired from the same job. I got fired for sexual harassment, but I was, I don't think I got fired for sexual harassment. I got fired, I think for hitting on this girl because I was told to hit on her. Sounds weird. Like I get told to do things and I do whatever I'm told. Not, not whatever I'm told, but I do do whatever I'm told. I, I worked at a restaurant. She was a, she was a waitress. I was a waiter. Um, I was told that I should hit on her and I got fired for hitting on her. And I, I wasn't like, it wasn't over a long period of time where it's constantly hitting on, where you're constantly hitting on someone, which I feel like was the situation with Andrew Cuomo. Um, it was a situation where I hit on someone a little bit. Uh, I never touched her, but this girl at the same job, she used to grab my ass every time I walked by. This is what I'll wear if, if you want to get married. I, I'm an, I'm seriously an ordained minister. If you want, I can do any any sermon possible. We can talk about the movie Elf and what love means according to Elf. Because I, 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 that's for the atheist weddings. I don't know what other movies are super romantic, but if I'm going to marry someone, I'll go watch some movies and I'll, I will talk about When Harry Met Sally. Um, we can talk about um, love is patient, love is kind, all that crap. If you want me to do a Christian marriage, I got a minor in religion. I'll do that. I'll do a Muslim marriage. I'll, I'll wear this, but I, I'll only do a Muslim wedding if I'm, if I'm allowed to dress like a Muslim woman. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll do a Jewish wedding. Uh, we'll talk about um, how Jacob loved both of his wives. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about what love was according to Solomon. <laughs> Y'all, get in a line. <laughs> you get to have sex with me next. <laughs> no, I don't know. What is a great love story from, from the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible? Um, I can't really think of any. Let's talk about L Lot and his daughter. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, Lot banged his daughters, one of his daughters. Did he bang both of them? I don't know. But anyways, I'm an ordained minister. Can you believe that? So anyways, yeah, I've been fired for sexual harassment twice. Um, well, one of the times, like I said, it wasn't, I wasn't fired for sexual harassment, but I knew I was going to get fired. I was hurt. He said I wasn't as good of a waiter as he thought I was going to be, but I was like seriously injured because I had a back problem because I had gotten a car accident. And I was, I, I, I even told the girl, I was like, I'm about to not work here anymore. And I was like, this is your last shot. And um, then I got fired. So it worked out great. The other time I got fired, I was like 16 years old. And um, there was this much, much older girl that I was not even attracted to at all. She was tall and she was Mexican. And I mean, I guess she was attractive, but I wasn't attracted to her. She came in one day and she was wearing a shirt that was so sh short that you couldn't see her shorts. And I was like, are you wearing shorts under that? That's all I said. And then no one even fired me. I called in. I was like, I need my schedule. And they're like, oh, you're fired for sexual harassment. And I was like, what? It was like, and I was like the biggest Christian ever back then. And I've, I'm not aggressive with women. Like that's one of the reasons I think women like me is because I'm so not aggressive. Like 
but especially in the workplace, I'm not going to put my hands on someone, um, especially someone that like you like is like my boss or is like under me. Like, but I, I've, I've, I've never been sexually aggressive, but especially at work. Like that's the thing. Like work is a special place where you don't do that. But I've still gotten fired twice for sexual harassment. That's why I feel like a lot of people are going, oh, all he did was try to kiss you. Like what were you doing? That's what they're thinking about this girl. But I think what was actually happening is Andrew Cuomo was constantly hitting on certain people. And that's why people are accusing him of sexual harassment now. You never really know. So do you think I should wear that when I, I can wear a suit. Hire me. If you guys need someone to photograph your wedding and, and also be your pastor, I will officiate the wedding and I will, um, I'll be your pastor. Uh, wait, no, I'll officiate the wedding and I'll take pictures. So it'll be perfect. Uh, but I, I can set up my camera to take pictures automatically while I'm officiating the wedding or someone else can hold take, take my camera and take pictures just during the ceremony. I'll take pictures the rest of the time and it will save you tons of money. Um, and plus I'll even write, I'll even make your brochure for your wedding. Cause I'm, I'm actually a really good writer. Uh, if you, if anybody needs a copy editor, I am very good at English. I was a writing tutor. I know how to do English, but I feel like what you guys want me as is, um, a clown at your kid's fake wedding. So say that you have a dog that's in love with another dog. Cause my dog, she's been humping my brother's dog for days and my brother's dog turned around and started humping her. And I just accept it. Cause I, I'm one of those people. It's like, well, if the dogs are humping and my dog's spayed, I don't have to worry about her getting pregnant. They can get it on. That's fine. Um, so if you have a dog that wants to get married to another dog, call me or comment on my post and be like, Hi, my dog is getting married. I need a minister for the wedding and I will show up and I'll, I will officiate the wedding and I'll be a clown for the kids that are at the wedding that are enjoying the wedding. And so I'm just saying like, I am a Renaissance man. I need a job. I feel like no one wants to hire me because I've said that I'm a member of a criminal organization that released a bioweapon. And <laughs> I sent a letter to like a hundred different FBI agencies like every, every field office in the United States. And how many FBI people have contacted me? Zero. I've contacted every secret service field office. How many people have contacted me? Zero. I've contacted like every Homeland security office I could find. How many people contacted me? Zero. No one wants to talk to me. Thank God. <laughs> you understand when, when you send out that many letters, like all you want to do is not talk to anyone but you want to receive letters that are like, this is wholly inappropriate that you would send a letter to a judge that's a S Supreme Court justice for, a, or the, the, for the state of Pennsylvania telling them the government is censoring you and that they keep doing terrible things to you and they're going to murder you. <laughs> it's like, sorry that I was wholly inappropriate by telling you guys that the government's fascist. Oh darn. Now no one's going to hire me. If you need someone to photograph houses for you, cause you're a, um, because you're a, a, a realtor, hit me up. I'll photograph houses. I want to do weddings though, because weddings are the funnest. And if I could officiate weddings dressed like this, I would do it. But I feel like everyone's going to want me to wear a suit. I got a nice suit. I'll do that. So anyways, back to the sexual harassment thing. Um, yeah, sexual harassment's bad. Shouldn't sexually harass people. Shouldn't like constantly hit, hit on them. And like when they tell you no, keep going. Like that's, that's the thing. Like this girl I was hitting on, she almost was interested, but then she had a boyfriend. And so she, I feel like she was like kind of thinking about it, but then she was like, no, I got a boyfriend. And, um, and I, I feel like that, that job, I kind of deserve to get fired for that one. Um, the, the one where I just asked this girl, she was wearing shorts. I was like, you weren't anything under that? <laughs> like it was like the dumbest firing of all time, but it worked out. I, I, I don't know what I did. I ended up getting a job somewhere else, but then like my, my whole life was like, I have sexually harassed someone. I'm a terrible person. Who am I now? Jesus, please give me the power to not sexually harass someone. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't even mean to say, I didn't know what to say. Like there's anything that happens is when you have no idea that you sexually harass someone, but then you get fired for sexual harassment. Um, but I, I feel like uh, hitting on someone constantly can be uh, harassment, especially when they say no. And uh, when you're at work, it's a special place where you shouldn't hit on them. Wow, this video is getting a little long. I... I'm going to put this on and go 
watch Mr. Robot. No, I'm not yet, but I'm going to watch it later today. Mr. Robot's nominated for Best Drama. Mr. Robot is that good that it's like, who will win Best Drama? This is such a strong category this year. The director of Mr. Robot, freaking A, he's an Egyptian guy, Ismail, um, and he is brilliant. The, the cinematographer, too, I looked him up. He's the he's from uh, Stranger Things, and the way that they 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 set the scenes and the way that the the colors are freaking brilliant. I am I I'm so impressed with that director, um, but I'm impressed with the storyline too. I'm not going to talk about Mr. Robot anymore. I am going to censor myself, and you guys will have to figure out what happens later on. Go watch it. I'm out of here. Hope you have a good day.